okay, so I've been doing some work on my truck. I needed to replace the hubs and rotors. Um, they were like rusted together and anyway, that was a whole thing. I was also working on replacing the oxygen sensors. And for this particular one on the passenger side, you'll notice there is very little room to work with up here. So to get the room, I removed the uh, exhaust manifold and that gave me enough room over here that I could replace the sensor. In doing that, I discovered that I probably had a little bit of an exhaust leak up here and I don't know how well it'll show, but below the surface, both of the studs for the exhaust manifold have broken off. And I think that actually happened prior to me taking this off. So what I need to do before I try to put the exhaust manifold back on is I need to try to back these two studs out and I'm going to use my MIG welder to do that. Um, one thing that works in my favor is the block of the engine here, uh, this side of it is aluminum and carbon steel doesn't stick to aluminum. My weld wire is carbon steel and that broken off stud is also carbon steel. So what we're going to try to do is add weld metal in here, out, and then I'm going to try to weld a washer onto that and a nut and then use a wrench to back this out, repair the threads if I need to, and then put in new studs on all four of these ports. Okay, so these are the settings I'm going to try just to start out with. And my gas is set at about 15 CFH or so. Being outside, I may have to bump that up, but I figure where I'm in the wheel well, I'm fairly protected from the breeze, so this is probably good enough. I don't know how well this is going to show up on film because I can't really get a good angle. And I have disconnected the battery, in case you're wondering. And my work clamp is connected directly to the block. didn't get this centered very well, but it does seem to be sticking, so. Alright, there we go. Really ugly weld, way off center. Probably the ugliest weld I've ever done, but it worked. Now we'll get that other one out. Alright, let that cool for a minute. You don't want to go when it's red hot because that's when the metal is weaker. So let it cool. So it's hardened up and then try to loosen it. And there you go. There are both of those broken studs removed. The, uh, the welds are pretty ugly, but it worked. And I was able to get the exhaust manifold back in place. So it was a success. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.